Where were you? Well, we saw Al's Paraguayan Pancake House. We were stalked by several townspeople, and uh, apparently I look like Billy Crudup. You do not. I'm gonna take it up with Jackson. Ah, 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 hey, 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 hey. Hello. Emily. Emily? It's your mother. Hi, Grandma. Uh-huh. Well, actually, I'm sitting here with your girls. Sure. She wants to speak to you. Hmm. Hi, Mom. Lorelai, Christopher is in town. Oh, what? I didn't know. Although, uh, coincidentally, I'm sitting across from an amazing Christopher hologram. Well, I just had this wonderful idea. Christopher's parents are in town, too. You remember Strobe and Francine, don't you? Ah, uh, yes, the Schnickelfritzes. The who? The Haydens. Well, I called them up and invited them to dinner. They said that they are free to join us all on Friday night. Jo join us all? Yes, you, Rory, Christopher, your father. That's quite a gathering, Mom. Well, I should say so. We haven't all been together since the two of you were children. And Strobe and Francine haven't seen Rory since she was a baby. Yeah, I know, but... It'll be like a wonderful reunion, all of us together again. I never thought it would happen. Yeah, me either. see my parents. I've got to see my parents. Ladies and gentlemen, the drama king and queen of Connecticut. Lyle, anybody home? Oh my God, you're here. Christopher, look at you. Emily, as always, perfect. I am so glad to see you. I didn't hear the doorbell. We didn't ring the doorbell. You let yourselves in? It's OK, Mom. Look, not a rapist among us. Hi, Grandma. You usually knock. Not since you gave us a key. That's for emergencies. Well, Mom, I'm starving to death. Is that enough of an emergency for you? Rich is in the living room. Come on in. He's dying to see you. Thanks. It's a setup, giving me that key. <laughs> it's a key. It's meant to be used. It's my parents' house. Shut up. Sorry. Well, here they are. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Rory. Lorelai? Christopher, old boy, how are you? My gosh, it's good to see you. How are you, Richard? Well, I'm better than most. Not as good as some. And annoyed with all. Ha <laughs> ha! You speak the truth, young man. I have made martinis. So, Christopher, tell me about your business. Oh, Richard, let the poor boy relax. Well, I simply want to find out how it's going. It's, uh, it's going great, Richard. I'm almost afraid to jinx it by telling you how good it's going. Oh, that is wonderful. Always knew you had it in you. You have a splash of greatness, as my mother would say. You always had that splash of greatness. Hmm. I'd like another splash of greatness, if you don't mind. Oh, Richard, isn't Rory the spitting image of Christopher? I just hope you inherit your father's business sense also, my dear. I know one thing for sure. You certainly have your father's musical talent. Oh, wait just a minute. What? M Mom, neither of these two have any musical talent. Hey, I play guitar. You know the opening lick to Smoke on the Water. And I've since mastered the opening lick to Jumpin' Jack Flash. I'm a Chuck Berry man myself. <laughs> Something wrong? I, I would never have guessed that that last sentence would ever come out of your mouth. And why not? Chuck Berry? Yes, Chuck Berry. He was all the rage when I was in school. Uh, so we're talking pre my dingling? I believe I am. Do you remember when the two of you were, what, 10, and you put on that adorable show for us? What show, Mom? Lucy Schroeder, you laying on the coffee table. You pretending it was a piano? God, why is that remembered?